Matheson. Hey, we're back on live here at Mini Son of Monster Palooza, and I'm here with Nicholas Winstead. Hello. Hello, everybody. Nicholas Hello. Winstead. So, um, really quick, um, I met Nick about, we've known each other a long time, right? Yeah, like the, years, decades. Seven days? About, yeah. About Eight days. <laughs> not, yeah, very, very soon. No, no, no. Um, uh, I just met is nicholas not nick right uh, nicholas yeah. nicholas okay that's fine i'm ted not theodore but if you want to call <laughs> oh, me theodore that's fine oh, that's but if you name. call me theodore i feel like i'm in trouble are we okay i gotta scoot oh. in a little bit okay, we wanted to put good? we wanted to put uh, uh nicholas's stuff mm -hmm. in between us but um so yeah i i was working over at steve wang shop just mm -hmm. recently which was a treat for me um they offered me a job on a very short gig and i'd never met steve and oh, really? I had never worked for Steve, you know, and so I thought, I, why not, you know, go build something cool. I can't tell what I was working on because it's actually being shot, I think, this last week or yeah. something like that. Yeah, so exactly. it's going to premiere soon. As soon as I can say anything about it, I will definitely show pictures. And, and But it's obviously along the lines of what I do. It's mm -hmm. foam carving and, and creating, like, you know, that type of thing. So it's really kind of not in the Steve Wang realm, you know? Yeah. But um, it was really fun to work on there. But then I got to meet Nicholas. And Nicholas was there. And I'd heard about you because Ilona had worked over there as well mm -hmm. um, for a short stint. And she was telling me about this young guy who oh, everybody, you know, it was amazing work. But everybody was giving you crap, too, because you were the new guy. Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> that's, that's just how it goes, it seems. Yeah, so it, we've got great stuff. And we want to look at this and talk about this. But... Um, you're relatively new to the industry. Oh yeah, right? absolutely. Yeah, so what's 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 your story? Where'd you come from, and and how'd you get to LA? So I was super lucky, but um, I originally was uh, raised in Mississippi, so okay. very much not Los Angeles. Right. Um, but always loved monsters, always loved art, um, and the intersection of those two was special effects. You know, because there's so much art in making right. monsters. Um, but. Uh, but yeah, I always just felt like a need to be out here. I always idolized Los Angeles and um, the special effects industry, and uh, just I mean, my heart was already out here. So right. um, I got to visit Los Angeles when I was around fourteen. I came out here, and uh, I didn't get a chance to look at any shops. But as soon as um, the plane touched down, I was like, "Oh, this is." I'm in LA. Is, yeah, exactly. Like this is. You're coming in LAX. You can look over your right shoulder, and you see the Hollywood mm -hmm. sign up there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all the all the huge streets, and right. I, I just, I don't know, I just felt j just like home, you know. Right. Um, but, but yeah, and then flash forward, so uh, in Mississippi until I was around 16, and then I got a uh, great opportunity to go to a boarding school, an arts boarding school okay. up in Michigan called Interlock, and, um, yeah. and I got to really pursue uh, fine art there and really um, work on like my visual art skills. Do you have um, a particular passion? Is it painting, sculpting? You know, just... man, I, I the thing that really draws me to this stuff is just how multimedia it is. I right. think right now I'm really focusing in on um, sculpting and mold making just okay. because uh, I love sculpture so much and I was so bad at mold making. <laughs> um, and I was ruining all my sculptures and I was like, oh, I need to get better That's at the this. thing. Yeah. A, a good mold or a bad mold can it make and break your, I mean, because you work yeah. on a beautiful sculpture and if you mess up the mold, I know, man. Yeah, it's crazy. I remember one of my first... Start over. Yeah, right. Like, I, I broke so many molds, and I, I remember the <laughs> one of the um, first sculptures that I did, I, I worked, like, months on doing this, like, right. mutant, uh, essentially, and I did this plaster mold, and I didn't even know you had to put uh, burlap in... Oh, in, uh, so it's just pure plaster. Oh, yeah, and it, back in Mississippi, too, I was, you know, we didn't have any of the suppliers there, so sure. I was going to Home Depot and getting, like, pottery, pla not pottery, pla but plaster of Paris. Right, plaster of Paris, yeah. Um, and I got the back off, and I was like, oh, my God, I made a mold. It's so great. <laughs> and then I didn't, I totally undercut the, the front. Sure. So I was like, oh, I got to get it out. And then the, I remember trying to, to um, tweak it, and it just cracked in half. And no, but my heart this is the great thing, though. Like, <laughs> you made you made mistakes. Exactly. Oh, so many, yeah. And you, you keep learning from, you know, we keep hearing this, mm -hmm. you know, over the last couple of days, few days, that <laughs> every. TJ Monster Maker says baby boy. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love TJ so much. Um, but uh, you you make a mistake, you break a mold, you're not using the right material. Oh yeah, and you learn from that. Absolutely, and yeah. you figure it out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, I you know I think failure at least for me was some of the best lessons. You know, and it's they're tough lessons definitely. It's like you. TJ says you've come so far. Oh, what a sweetheart! Oh my god. No, you, and, and you just but. keep failing up. Exactly. It's like yeah. that failure is is another success, mm -hmm. and then there's a failure there, but then there's another success. Mm -hmm. So. 
you know, those failures become successes because it's like now I'm using the right material, mm -hmm. now I'm doing this correctly, yeah, and now my sculptures are actually, you know, I don't have to do this over. Exactly. Yeah. The, the process gets shorter and. Yeah, and I, st I still feel that now too. Uh, you know, I think I forgot what college it was. I'm just reiterating something that I've heard before. I think it was. Cal Arts, the, the one for animation, right. the, it's really probably known for animation. Right. Um, I heard one of the teachers uh, they gave they give the speech uh, every beginning, like the beginning of every year, talking to new students, saying like, okay, you have like two hundred bad drawings in you. We just need to get them out. Um, so they just do drawing after drawing after drawing, and eventually you start to learn and get better. And I, I still see that with my stuff too. It's just like you know, there's um, yeah, it's still very much learning. You just need yeah. to make as much stuff as possible. And yeah to a point where every know. sculpture I mean that's the thing you look at the the line that you sculpted yeah you know and you mold that and you get it out and you go, oh you know maybe next time or I've been halfway through well, well I, I, I sculpt in clay as well and there's times when I'm sculpting in clay or just sculpting in foam mm -hmm. where I didn't mean to do it but halfway through it all of a sudden I find another technique mm -hmm. and I'm like oh damn it this looks really good this looks so much better than what I was doing yesterday or yeah. even two hours ago mm -hmm. and then you make that decision it's like do I go backward and change up the textures that I'm doing over here because yeah. I just found something really neat or do I just keep going because this was okay, mm -hmm. but now it, I did it on the Frankenstein, honestly. There oh, really? Was, there was stuff I completely just was like, oh, I really like, I, I, I just pulled the, you know, it's, it's tissue that I did on it and mm -hmm. I just pulled it a certain way and it just did this cool little wrinkle and I'm like, oh, I like that. And it was almost a mistake, but it was like, that works mm -hmm. and it's like eh, screw it I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna change this so I, I started going back all over the place and changing so I love these little lines and these little kind of like veins almost that you were getting you mm -hmm. know that I was getting in there and it's the same thing with any kind of sculpt I mean do you find that do you find oh absolutely yeah yeah I mean there are several times too where I'll do something and I think it's completely wrong and then it's like oh it's actually that looks way better but right. yeah you're very you're, you're stuck in this predicament you know of like oh okay I have so much more work now but yeah, yeah but yeah I try yeah, I don't know. I'm. I'm I, and it's I harder really doing hard it for myself. yourself. Yeah, exactly. Because yeah. that's the thing. You can go back and change it. If you're doing it for a film, you're doing it for a commercial. Then it's like, nope. I just got to keep going because this has exactly. got to get in the mold tomorrow. Exactly. Yeah. I, I don't have enough experience to really speak about what it's like for you know in shops or films or things. But yeah. at least with my stuff, I take so long on my pieces just because it's just like I look at it and I'm like, oh, no, I should do it this way. Or well, know. this piece here. How, how long did you yeah. spend on this? Um, oh, I don't know. I started sculpting. Is there, well, a name, is there a name for her? Yeah, so she's called Madonna. Um, okay. It's actually based off of a painting I did uh, okay. a few years ago. Um, and I, I like the character, character, but the um, the concept kind of changed. Originally, I was working with, um, I did my thesis at Interlochen um, on religion, my experiences religion, with religion going, growing up in the South. Um, but uh, So that painting, it was based off of um, like the old like uh, Mary and Jesus, Madonna and Child paintings. Right. Uh, I kind of did my, an alteration on that. Um, but, you know, in the past, I guess, I don't know, five or six years, I, I kept thinking of her. I was like, oh, it'd be so cool to do that as a mask. And, um, but yeah, it's interesting. The concept kind of changed because after working with religion for so long, I kind of got, um, more comfortable with my stance on religion and sort yeah. of what that meant to me. So I was like, but there's something kind of kept drawing me back to that character. So, but anyway, did I, I answer your question? Yeah, no, um, that's fine. So I, so I, tangents are good. There, I just, I'm such a rambler, um, but <laughs> Uh, but yeah, so I started sculpting this, I think, last year, and okay. then I got it, but the forms weren't working so well, so I scrapped that sculpture, and then I, re I decided to start it back again. Uh, what were you using? COVID. Oh, it's wet clay. It's, it's wet clay. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. so if you don't know what wet clay is, it's a water-based yeah. water clay that will dry out, it will crack, it'll mm -hmm. fall apart, and it's no good anymore. Not like the oil clays, which exactly. a lot of people will sculpt in, where you can like set it aside, it's fine, bring it back out a month mm -hmm. later to... Sometimes two years later. Exactly. Yeah. Something like that. It's and it, cool. it, David, you'll back me up on this. Wed clay. W E D stands for Walter, it's Walter Elias, Elias Disney, Disney mm -hmm. because that's where that clay was originally developed for at using Wed at Wed Enterprises for using uh, for building all the Disney characters originally mm -hmm. for Disneyland. So my daughter's going, Holy crap, I learned something. Yeah, it's cool. <laughs> How have I not told you that? But yeah, wed clay is you know, but what is a it, that's some more sculpture clay because there's two different kinds of the clay that Laguna mm -hmm. company makes, and there's wet and there's white. Mm -hmm. So the white clay is a much softer, smoother clay, and Still we use that for mold making. 
more than the the, the wet is just it has a really nice you can push it around I think and the wet has glycerin in it is oh yeah so, has it, some, so it yeah. doesn't dry quite as fast and you have that that texture stage and everything with right this, there's a mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. yeah and I, I i love doing wet clay sculpts because it's just the way you let it get sort of leather hard yeah and you can start putting really great detail in it you can block something out so fast mm -hmm. yeah absolutely yeah there's such so you're doing this in wet yeah yeah so. so what was your time frame on this because um, it you can't let it dry out and it'll also get moldy ex yeah exactly i mean there have been some times especially mississippi too where it's so humid you right. be working on something and pull it out and it's all covered in mold it's right. so gross but um uh but with this i actually i maintained it for a while i think i worked on the sculpture for a few months probably really okay yeah, yeah. yeah i would spray it down and um, bag Cover it, it with really towels. Nice. Exactly, and, yeah, yeah. I did, yeah, like the uh, the water and then the wet paper towels and then right. the, um, the plastic bag. But so you really um, took your time. Yeah, yeah, I tried to. Um, yeah. Because I mean, it, I don't know. I'm I'm not at the point yet where because you know just I you know I spent a lot of time at Steve Wang's shop in the past few years and you see people like Mio or Steve or a lot of the other sculptors like uh, Ernesto her her right. husband and like they they block something out and it looks perfect and it's just right. so there. It's almost like 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 Michelangelo where you. You can just tell that they see it, you know, they see it in their yeah. head, and they just, you know, it's, it's amazing stuff. I can, I'm not quite there yet, um, so I'll do, uh, um... You get one more year, and that's it, man. Exactly, I know, I'm out. But, if, you're uh, not, if you're not doing it like that... I know. <laughs> but it's just, it's a, it looks like, it's just like a magic trick or something, because yeah. you'll, you'll, they start sculpting and come back. It's, and it's muscle like, memory. I used yeah. to do that with uh, Constantine, who was here yesterday, mm -hmm. and I used to go up to his room at, at uh, um, Edge Effects, mm -hmm. and easels all over the place his paintings and drawings all over and it was all traditional i've got a couple of his pieces here and just how quickly he could you know just amazing bang yeah. out a drawing mm -hmm. in no time at all and it looked just like when we were working on cat in a hat mike myers boom there it is mm -hmm. and i'm just dude how do you do it? he goes i do it all day long <laughs> yeah exactly yeah i get up in the morning and there's a pencil in my hand and when i fall asleep there's a pencil in my hand mm -hmm. And it's the same thing with whatever I do. People go, how do you do it? It's like, well, because I do it all day long. Exactly. You know, and same thing, you know, with, with Steve or with anybody like that. You know, Steve Wang, it's mm -hmm. just like, he's been doing it for what, 35, 40 years. Yeah, you know, it's years, like, yeah. it's just like, close my eyes and start sculpting. And it's like, you kind of, you mm -hmm. know, everybody gets there. So there's yeah, this beautiful piece here, too. Now, okay. do you primarily sculpt in wed? Is uh, it? What I go back, go back and forth. I'm still, you know, using, experimenting, using a bunch of different stuff. So I originally, so going back to how long I work on my pieces, I originally did a latex mask of a skull. Um, I think that was like two or three years ago. And then um, I liked some of the forms, but I wanted to augment it. So I did a bunch of mold making on it and pulled a clay pour of it in Chavant. Um, okay. It was Chavant and foam, and then I resculpted it. So that's melting, it. melting down the Chavant clay. Exactly. So it's an oil-based clay that you're melting. Mm -hmm. Pouring that into a silicone mm -hmm. mold. Yeah, as a brush up, yeah. And then you then you can go back in and start to rework it. Exactly, yeah. Right. And then I was able to add um, like the hollow, uh, like the hollowness in the cheeks, and I sculpted the underside of the whole thing as well, and um, and the jaw. Is it showing up okay with the glare? Or? Uh, it's in a wide right now. If I go into you, you're gonna have to pick it up, like maybe. I'm not gonna pick it up. No, this is this is glass, right? Yeah, it's glass. I'm we can take we can take it off. Actually, okay, yeah. okay, I'll lift that. I'm gonna put it on the table mm -hmm. over Perfect. across. Put it on like Mr. Freeze. Oh, there you exactly. go. Exactly. Nope, I'm not gonna do it. This is glass. <laughs> Scares the crap out of me. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's beautiful. Thank you so much. So yeah, um, there we go. Yeah, and then the uh, actually, I'm gonna. Oh, he does come off of here, right? Yeah, he does come off. Yeah, so I'm gonna try to go. get him. So in, in your in your camera. Oh, on his camera. But, uh, or I'll do it. I'll do it on my camera. You were crazy close, but bring bring it back in. It's on his now. Hand it hand it to him. Let him talk. Okay, oh, here. No, okay. no, 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 here you go. So, because <laughs> I like touching it, it's fun. I know, right? Yeah, I so want you can, one. So I you can want see, like, one. The side sculpted. And so I, I, I don't know. I love being able to interact with pieces and holding your hands and having it feel as real as possible. Right. So, um, and this piece, I glued the jaw on as well as the teeth, but the jaw actually is a separate mold, so it comes off. Thank God, because I didn't pick it up by the jaw. Oh, and it's drop and off. Shatters, <laughs> I know exactly. And um, thanks for coming, Nicholas. <laughs> it's like sweeping up all the teeth. Yeah. Like yeah, thanks, man. As I'm crying, yeah. I know. <laughs> It's like that'll be ten million dollars. Guess who's not coming back? I know. <laughs> uh, but uh, well, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> no but like, um, and then the uh, the teeth are actually separate molds as well. Okay. So um, all this the uh, the bone is cast in um just regular fast cast plastic like AB plastic. Okay. And, um, so it's a, a two part resin. Exactly. Liquid yeah. uh, two part liquid mm -hmm. resin that you mix together, 
and it hardens relatively yeah. quick. Yeah, I think I used Now, you've done uh, on your Instagram, and what's your Instagram? Oh, it's just my name. It's Nicholas Winstead. There you go, mm-hmm. Nicholas Winstead. Find his stuff because it's it's amazing, mm-hmm. and he's got great pics on there. But so you've taken this one skull, and you've you've augmented it. So you've exactly, got one yeah. without the teeth in it, and I saw the, the rope that you've oh, got yeah. tied through, mm-hmm. and it's like a different, you know... Uh, texture or just paint job on it like that and it just it makes it all into a completely different piece thank you man yeah, thank you know you. it's really fun yeah exactly that was definitely the concept of it just have like a modular skull you know i right. i love skulls so much i have a small human skull collection which is kind of weird yeah but yeah. um it's like collecting uh, collecting people i've, I've seen but, weirder in this industry oh I'm just, I'm just, i guess so yeah absolutely but I, it's, I knew a guy that had a toenail collection oh that's <laughs> yeah oh. Ah, i'm not L2 saying who says amazing artist oh, yeah man. No, absolutely oh, so sweet um but, but yeah, I try to make everything modular, so um, the teeth are all a separate mold as well. Those right. are cast in 325 from Smooth On, so they're a little bit translucent. Yeah. Um, but each one is individual as well, so you can have stuff like this where there's missing teeth, or you can have no teeth, full, or all teeth. Full teeth. And exactly, yeah, 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 yeah. So but you then, throw a different paint job on it, and it's like a really nice, pristine, mm-hmm. with full teeth, and you know. Yeah, and then there's, um, this is a variation too I just did for this. It's like I just took the the skull through a bandsaw, a nice painted skull, it's all right. finished. Is it sculpted inside? Uh, no, it's not, that's right. the next step. I gotta next step, so you're gonna, so it's an articulated skull so you can see the That'd interior. be really cool, I wanna, yeah. I wanna do that. Um, yeah. But, but yeah, I still get through and then I did uh, little hinges on the sides, so it's like the, the medical skull, as right. you can see, they can but take o- the top But off. enlarged? Ex- uh, yeah, a little bit, a little bit. It's, it's difficult So are those find. custom or? No, actually I found these at uh, Lowe's. Neat, they, they, oh sure. These were for, um, doors because they would be yeah. like half that size uh, around or, that, yeah. maybe maybe a little yeah i guess so i haven't seen a whole because it's of not a size. normal size human skull yeah it's, the it's a part. slightly larger it's a little, little bit i think it's like one and three quarters okay. size um but, but yeah i love skulls so much because you can tell so much about the humanity and the story of the person mm-hmm. through their skull whether it's um like age or geriatric where you have the bone grow over the teeth areas right. if they're young if they're, like, you can sometimes tell how they died. It's it's right. really beautiful. And I think just the um, design of the skull is amazing. And That's it. We all so seem rad. to, I mean, I don't know about you, David, or, like, I, my, my daughter's always appreciated, like, skulls. And I got, I've got skulls, you know, they're up on the wall here. Yeah. And I've got a shelf over here with skulls on them. And it's that weird fascination. But, I mean, we like to draw them, you know, when we were younger. And it's always, like, that still life type art where... Yeah. I know that was always an exercise in school. Here, let me put it back on the pedestal. So I want to touch it again. Oh yeah, go for it. Either of you ever been to the Mutter Museum in Philadelphia? No, I want to so bad. They have it's incredible. Yeah. In the back, there's a whole wall. It's all just skulls. Yeah. Like real human skulls, Mm -hmm. but each one has a card of that person's name and how they died. So they actually connect the history of that person's life. That's so beautiful. It's really Mm -hmm. cool. Absolutely. Yeah, it's really weird when you can see how they died, like a bullet hole in their skull or something. It's really. Doing this completely wrong because he wants to. Oh, it's fine. He spent. He wants to keep looking to the left. I know. It's kind of creeping me out a little bit. It's like, hi, Nicholas. Yeah. Oh, he's he's looking right at me. Why did you give him to him? (laughs) There you go. Play spin the skull. There you go. (laughs) Exactly. Um, Bam, man, I love skulls, and it's just it's I I I, it was it started as as more of a study as well, just an anatomical study, right? You know, and I still see things and like I kind of want to I kind of want to do another another clay press and re sculpt it again. Again. Again and again and again and again. <laughs> well, it's like we've talked about this before. There's always that special effects gag that we work on that it's just like it could be better. It could be better. I talked oh, yeah. to Mike Papa a second ago about wanting to rebuild Red, mm-hmm. you know, that I'd built for him. And yeah. it's like, oh, no, it, I'd, I'd like to do that better. I'd like to have more time on it. Mm-hmm. You know, it's not necessarily always the money, but it's the time that it takes to, to do something yeah, like absolutely. that. Um, mm-hmm. But, bus- yeah, to, oh. to keep fixing, not yeah. necessarily a mistake, but it's like I want to push this a little further. Um, yeah. no. What other pieces? Let me set this guy pieces. aside. Yeah. Because I know you brought, you 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 brought some of the most show and tell. Steve oh, thank Johnson you. says I love the Madonna piece. Oh my God! Well, that is. Oh, I feel so humble. I love Steve. There you go, Steve. So you just much. made uh, Nicholas's day. Uh, made my life. Do you want to send Steve an invoice? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, actually, yeah. I just want to move that one. Or you, I can do this. I just yeah, do I'll this put, one. Uh, I'll put this one here. These pieces are actually uh, a collaboration with a fine artist, uh, Missy. I think, yeah, I don't, don't want to out her. I think her uh, um, her stage name is Missy Munster, I believe. But um, uh, these are fine art masks, essentially, that I'm doing with her. She came up with the idea and contracted me as the um, sculptor and designer. So, um, yeah, sculpted the pieces. And then uh, we're, we worked on the mold for this one, but I molded the, uh, the kid's skull on the, the other one and then 
um, she finishes them and all that jazz. But so she'll do the painting on this. And... Exactly. Yeah. So these are both black, but um, you can. That one commission. that I was putting up a second ago, that was for her as well. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. The two black masks, but we can okay. either are red, white. You can do any type, any color, really, any type right. of paint job as well. So. Now what's. Um, Going forward in the industry, I mean, where do you see yourself? What what facet do you want to get into? Um, I really don't know yet, in all honesty. I feel like I just, right now, I really want to focus on getting good as much as I can. Cause I, right. Like I was mentioning before, I don't think I actually finished finish my thought, but... Uh, um, there's a lot but, of unfinished thoughts on this show. Exactly. No, it's, it's, so, it's, great, it's great talking to you because it's just like, uh, I love talking to people where it's just like that and that and that. Yeah. You know, it's, it's awesome. But, um, but I was going to say, I, uh, so I'm mainly focusing on sculpture and mold right now, but uh, one of my favorite parts about the industry is how much stuff there is to do. You know, all, all the types right. of um, artisans that are in the industry because it's, um, it's just, it's so amazing when you meet some people that are good at everything. You know, I've right. had some bosses like that and they're just, uh, it's, it's, it's stunning. Yeah. I can have, um, uh, someone who's good at hairstyling and sculpting, and mold making, designing, and right. um, yeah, hair punching, doing making eyes and teeth. It's it's amazing. It's so there's so much to do, you know. No, and you start to appreciate. I mean, when I was working on my Frankenstein up there, and you know, I punched hair before, mm -hmm. and it's the appreciation that you start to have. I know how much work goes into this. Mm -hmm. I've watched sculptors sculpt things for weeks, just painstakingly, like every every scale, every line, every this and every that, or people who punch hair or t mm -hmm. hand tie hair mm -hmm. or or fabricate you know how many stitches it takes to do this or build special costumes and you know but then when you're doing it all yourself mm -hmm. and you have to do that fabrication work and you have to do that hair work and you're like oh my god hair punching I is know, horrific right? That's a, a, <laughs> why know. am i punching all of this but it part of me it's like you know um, david's dad tom woodruff mm -hmm. you know said why did you punch that whole head as a like, part of it it was just kind of like I want to see how long it takes. Yeah. You know, I've got all the hair. I want to see how long it takes. You know, and I'm I'm doing it for myself. Mm -hmm. So, so what? Absolutely. You know, I'm going to do it, and it just you you that appreciation grows, um, for the other people that are around you that are doing that work mm -hmm. in the shop, and you know, the guys that make the eyes, the guy that makes the teeth, and yeah. the, the the person who does the sculpt and all yeah. that kind of stuff. Yeah, absolutely. So. I think it's just, it's so amazing to see. You know, because I love. Uh, like old art, like Renaissance art, mm -hmm. and tradi more traditional fine art, and you know, a big concept and a big uh, part of the Renaissance was like the Renaissance man, the Renaissance person. That's uh, um, not only is he, is he an artist, he's well, the, not only are they an artist, they're um, a mathematician, they're an architect, they're right. a scientist, and stuff like that. You know, and I love that that so much as having this large scope of the things that you're attracted to, the things right. that uh, how you express yourself. Um, and I, I see this exact thing in the special effects, and I, I, I want to be that so bad. I want to be able to, to learn all that stuff. Because you just walking in and you see people um, who are sculptors and people who are dental technicians and people who are hairstylists. It's, it's just, it's so cool how, especially how all these different people can come together to make this one thing. Right. You know, it's beautiful. I think it, it's, it's just, it's stunning right. where you can have that sort of um, collaboration. But being, you know, yourself when you're doing these things, and in, like, for anybody who wants to get into the industry, it's like knowing you have to know a little bit of everything mm -hmm. just so at least you know how to work with the other teams because mm -hmm. you'll get to bigger shops where it's like you know even at even at Steve Wang's shop you know there's there's departments yeah there's the sculptors there's the fabricators the painters the this and that it's a smaller shop where you can cross over a little bit more exactly, yeah. but when you start getting into the bigger shops you know like like KMB or or like legacy effects and things like that where it's like it's fabrication and or it's sculpture or design mold shop you know things like that where it's like it's not it's not horrible to get pigeonholed into something where it's like okay this is my home mm -hmm. but you know still being able to lift your head up off your table and look around and then walk around because I always loved walking around maybe oh my god yeah. maybe too much <laughs> you know you go hang out by the sculptor so what are you doing over there what it's kind like, of tools are you using or you know, going passes. over to the, you know the foam room or something like, what do you guys well, how are you you know this and that and so you start to learn what everybody else is using and yeah you know, I know Stan encouraged that when I worked at Stan's because he had started his digital department at that point. And we would have these Wednesday morning meetings. And he goes, I encourage all you guys, go go back there. Go back to the digital and see what they're doing. And then he would tell the digital guys, I want you to go back out on the shop floor. Mm -hmm. Look at the sculptures. Look at the fabricators. Look at the mold guys. What are they doing? Yeah. How are they painting? He said, I don't want these two worlds to be apart. That's awesome. Yeah. I want them to, to cross play. You know, Constantine talked about that designing and having to, like, I have to design this character, this creature, mm -hmm. but I can't 
make it 10 feet tall because it actually just has to fit on a guy who's like maybe six foot four. Exactly. It's got to go on Brian Steele or Doug Jones or someone like that. Mm -hmm. So I have to start with Brian Steele or Doug Jones. You can't make these these crazy concepts mm -hmm. because then it's like, well, that's great, but how do you apply that to a person? Sure. Yeah. You know, but now with digital, too, it seems like you can sort of have a bigger... Well, you can, they, they, you know, doing that, that, that sort of thing like... You know, and they did that one of Stan's films. I can't remember. It was a, a, a werewolf film. Do you know that, David? Which one? I don't know why that's escaping me right now. But he did this great werewolf film where they, they took the eyes digitally in post. Oh, cool. So they did these great makeups and everything like that, and they stretched the face. They kind of moved the cheekbones out oh, and cool. tilted the eyes. Mm -hmm. So they're a traditional prosthetic makeup, but then in post, they went, ding. That's awesome. You know, and, and moved. And it's like, well, you can't do that. But it's still blinking and moving and all that kind of stuff. It's like, no, no, it's all done in post. Mm -hmm. So, Well, even with Stan, too, I think the amount of innovation that has come from Stan, Stan's innovation as yeah. well, it's super cool. It's even seeing old stuff, like, so old back in the 80s, you know. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. Uh, but just seeing, you know, like 80s movies like Mars Attacks and stuff, how they right. positioned a body. And Worked on that. <laughs> oh, did you really? I didn't know that. It's amazing. Skinwalkers? Like, Skinwalkers. There we go. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Did somebody, did somebody tell us? Okay, yeah, Skinwalkers, cool. yeah, yeah. But yeah. No, I work on Mars Attacks at, cool. at KMB. And like, yeah. yeah, oh, that's awesome. I mean, we yeah. did. It, it was a limited amount because there was so much stop motion animation sure. and digital effects and stuff like that. But we did. We got to do a few practical gags and things. like that's that. That's awesome. Yeah, I remember writing that from Blockbuster. Actually, is Henrik time. watching today? Henrik, say something. Henrik Van Ryzen, but I mean, Henrik was. Uh, um, he was on Mars Attacks, and we, we, we did a lot of the skeletons, like the, the green and red skeletons mm -hmm. after they got shot and they were on the ground, like smoking and yeah, stuff like so that. Yeah, that's so cool. So, you know, trying to figure out all the crackle paint and stuff like mm -hmm. that that we were mm -hmm. doing. And that's so cool. Some neat gags. Yeah, so. but even the alien, too, the queen alien, how there's several people in the, the creature. Oh, in the aliens, yeah. Oh, aliens as well. I'm sorry, aliens, yeah. 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 Um, but, yeah, it's just it's amazing to think, to, to realize this creature, you know, right. and see, like, okay, what can we do, what can... But like even with digital now, but doing green screen and things like that, you can take away stuff as well as that. Right. And, you know, it's 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 well, amazing. It, it got to be so much easier on set, mm -hmm. and that's why I love the marriage of these two worlds now. Because at first, practical effects were kind of like, no, get out of our way. We don't want digital there. And digital was kind of like, get out of our way. We can do all this. And then digital kind of figured out we can't do all this and make it look real. Yeah. And we were kind of saying, well, we would love to make it look more real, but let's use digital. You know, and now the fact that we can be hovering over our puppets, standing right there with green screen rods, mm -hmm. doing all this stuff. I mean, we used to have to bundle cables out of the butt, yeah. but down under the floor to a bunch of guys moving levers or doing RC. And But now you're just like, no, we're just going to wrap all that in green, put a green bag, and the character can actually walk along and drag this green tube behind it and they'll just get rid of it in post absolutely yeah you know or get rid of us you know fat guys in green suits you know <laughs> you know blue screen suits and green screen suits and we're just but even that's changed now too it's like you know when we're on set it's like yeah as long as the rod is green you know you guys don't have to be in your green screen suits just kind of stand to the side a little bit we'll oh, just cool. shoot a plate and you guys are gone because mm -hmm. they don't need that anymore with, that's awesome. with digital because film they wanted green or blue mm -hmm. but now with digital it's kind of like yeah Unless you're really directly behind it, so that you can really see where you are, mm -hmm. which well, we're going to talk to Rick Allenson later in the day. He and I were on Goosebumps together. Goosebumps too. Oh, cool! I was always the guy that's like, go get in the blue suit, Ted. And it's like you know, so I was in my skin tight blue suit. And, that's awesome. You know, trying to keep fit when I was in Georgia, so I didn't look like a big tub of lard in a blue screen suit. <laughs> oh, stop! But uh, you know, but it's getting even easier. Where even the the VFX guys on set just like. It's like, oh, we didn't green out the rods. No, 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 I'll leave it. Oh. That we'd rather have it black. No way. Cool. You know, so, I mean, even that's just getting easier. And even digital guys these days are saying the more practical you can give us, mm -hmm. the better our job is. It's easier because it's like we can't do that. We mm -hmm. can't make it look that. I mean, they can do amazing stuff these days. It's just only getting better. But even they say it, nothing moves like a person or a yeah. puppet or something like that. That's cool. And they, they like it. They, they like the marriage as well. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it's, it's us trying to find each other now. And I think we've really, digital and practical, found each other. It's amazing. Yeah. yeah. So. It's super exciting to see those projects where you yeah. can just, yeah, they see them both as tools, you know. Right. It's just, it's just tools. Yeah, absolutely. So just, did you ever, did you start out doing any kind of makeup or, or has um, it always just been sculpting and masks? Oh, I, I still love makeup. And okay. in fact, I, you know, I, I want to get more into makeup. I think these are great as, um, 
uh, exercises and sculpting and, and mold making and things like that. But I still have a huge passion for me. I, I, I'm still out here for makeup. I guess right. these are just personal projects. But no, have you mainly um, been at Steve Wang's shop? Or uh, I mean, I bumped around. I, I've been at Steve's uh, pretty steadily for the past year and a half or two years now. Okay, good. Um, but before then, I think I cumulatively have been out here for like around three and a half years, like okay. working, uh, and then I did intern the summer before that. And you started um, really late, because what, you're 42? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. I'm, not, I'm Benjamin, it's Benjamin Button, you know, I'm actually <laughs> like 60. Um, no, I'm 21. Um, okay. But I, it was really cool. I got, um, between my summer, uh, between in the summer between my uh, junior and senior year in high school, I got to come out here and intern a little bit. Um, one of my uh, friend's parents at uh, Interlock, and they uh, worked out here in the entertainment industry, and they recommended me to a few uh, effect shops. Okay. Um, and then it was amazing to uh, um, intern out here a little bit. I got, it, was, it was really great. I got a little bit of time at ADI and AFX. Um, I, I wasn't really interning at ADI. I was mostly working on my personal stuff. Tom okay. and Alec was really nice and let oh, me great. hang out with everybody and ask questions and you know do that. And, Perfect. Um, then I came out here and uh, uh, right after high school, I was like one of the only people in high school not in college, so right. I was a little scary. But that was me too. Um, yeah, I, I, you yeah. Remember, yeah, from a lot of people in the shops. But it's, it was definitely a little nerve wracking to make that jump. But then, well, at least you're still young if you want to go back and do some school or something exactly, like yeah. that. You know, I, I was talking about this with my wife the other day, and just you know, and I know we talked on air about this a couple of times, so I hate to repeat myself like a record or a broken record. But it's like you know some of that stuff I wish I had gone and done um, because I didn't. I had great high school teachers, junior high teachers, mm -hmm. but there's some of the tools I would like to have more tools in my toolbox. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, just being able to work with more materials a little bit better because I was never forced to paint. I was never forced to do specific things. And I missed out on that, I think, by doing at least a little bit of schooling, you know, just a year or two of like some fine art type stuff. But mm -hmm. I mean, you're just, you're, you're so much further than I was when I came oh, out here. You know, it's just like, you know, and that, that's the thing is like, you guys too, being the, the age that you are, yeah. you have so much, I mean, like Bruce Mitchell showed up yesterday and he goes, this was my iPhone back like, you know, 30 the books, years ago. Yeah, I, yeah, I saw that. Yeah, we slammed yeah. those down. That was, that was, it was our yeah. iPhone. That was, you know, that was our Google. You know, it's like, no, this book and that book and yeah. a stack of Fangorias and a stack of Starlog. And it's like, that was our Google. That was our yeah. YouTube. You know, exactly. or, or getting uh, VHS tapes from uh, Suncoast Video. You guys remember it. Yeah, we got a question. Um, do you want to take a second? I was asked if they'll be able to watch these streams later somewhere. Do you want to hit on that real quick for like a second? Oh, yeah. Um, uh, 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 stupidly, um, because I'm new to social media <laughs> to an extent um, with Instagram Live and everything like that. Um, these, the, the Instagram Live, what we're doing right now, stays up for 24 hours. So you have 24 hours to basically watch what we're doing right now. Um, Fridays is gone right now. You can still look at Saturdays and it's, it's probably slowly like being replaced or phasing out. We are recording everything. So we, that's all going into a database and we're going to cut those together. I know some of the quality was a little bit not great on the first day, but we're learning here. And all that stuff is going to go to YouTube. So everything that you guys are seeing here, we're gonna we're gonna cut up and you know do nicely and everything. So it's gonna go to YouTube. You're gonna be able to watch it, hopefully forever. I didn't understand Instagram Live, how that works and how. My daughter's laughing at me over here, 22, <laughs> who goes, "Hey Dad, look at this on TikTok. Hey Dad, look at this on Instagram. And hey, look at it." So she's old to Nick. I know she's like so old. <laughs> so, she's 22, uh, but um. But uh, yeah, so I just wanted to touch on that really quick. So I apologize, but we are, this is all being recorded and captured. So yes, if you missed out on Friday, if you missed out on anything today, and you're only gonna, you know, uh, yesterday, you're gonna be able to see all of this. So, you know, I, I feel bad that I didn't understand, but when I asked Peter this morning, it's like, Peter, we're, we're recording all this, right? And he goes, yeah, yeah, don't worry about it. <laughs> and I was like, oh, thank God. <laughs> like, I, I thought it, there'd be people parked outside of my house going, where we <laughs> want <laughs> Minnie Palooza, we want. That'd be me, uh, actually. Yeah. That'd be, yeah, your just... address so that they could do Oh, that. thank God, um, yes. Yep, roughly 10. Okay. So we have time to set up for. Yeah, cool. yeah, so we're gonna, we're gonna be talking to Howard Berger next. So. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna, on the drive home, I'm gonna play. Like, yeah, he's yeah, like, like, yeah, he's like, no, yeah. just stick around. Yeah, no, um, exactly, there you go. But, but, uh, uh, but I was gonna say the same thing, like the only, I feel like a lot of the reason, you know, why I'm able to 
you know know some of the things that I've that I've learned. It's because of the internet and things like right. that. Like I, I love Stan Winston School. So what so were your much. favorite uh, teachers on the Stan Winston School? Oh, I don't know, Mr. Uh, Ted Haynes, maybe. A oh, bit. I heard uh, of this guy. Yeah, actually. No, I, so, so who'd you watch on there? Um, let's see. So I, I remember. I, I, I think you were I, probably watching Steve Wang. Oh, definitely. It's really cool, especially to come out here and meet some of the people because I, I you know, love right. their work on Sam Winston School. Yeah, definitely Steve. Definitely, um, was it uh, Bruce Fuller? His yep. his class on doing that full makeup was really incredible. I remember talking um, to Bruce when he was working at Legacy, and he goes, oh, I got to finish this thing someday." I know. <laughs> it, it went on forever. The way we used to shoot those was different because we do it like on Saturdays mm -hmm. and we'd be like I got time this Saturday but I can't do it again now for like four more weeks yeah and it was like these things would just stretch out forever because we weren't shooting them live oh uh, yeah exactly there's so yeah. much work I mean yeah. it, it, it was it a lot of work really made me understand too like wow there's a lot that goes in it made me love it so much yeah you know, and so it, much more. it was funny my mom watched them oh, from no Wisconsin yeah. so she you know like I'm working with with uh, Matt and Eric and they're going I said, yeah, my mom wants to. Write. He goes, oh, let's sign her up. Let's get her. Let's get her hooked up with. You know, is she okay on the internet? And I said, yeah, she's she's relatively savvy. And so she, uh, um, even though she hasn't figured out Instagram, she's missing all of this. But uh, um, she came out. And she was doing comments while I was building. That's so cute. And on my ride home, she called me and she goes, you know, you said all these years that you were a foam fabricator, and and she goes, I, I saw what you did. She goes, I never understood. Wow. How much goes into it? She goes, you're just there's so many tools. There's so many things that you have to learn and Absolutely. know and do, and mm -hmm. it, you know, which was really great for my mom to be able to find. It's like, well, mom, I did this since I was ten. You know, your house was messed up for half of yeah, my life. Yeah, exactly. You know? like, so, there's still stains in my house in Mississippi. Uh, yeah, like, I, there's red stuff. The everywhere. people that ended up buying my parents' house back in Wisconsin probably going. What's that strange smell? It's like it's latex rubber, dude. Oh it's, yeah, it's it's barge. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, it's just yeah, uh, caustic chemicals. Yeah, it's I, like yeah. It, was, it was so nice. My um, uh, so mom, my mom and I we stayed at her grand with our grandparents, and uh, my grandmother she does all the cooking. She's an awesome cook. But uh, luckily we had two ovens in our in our kitchen. Um, but so I had one for my foam, and then she had one for the food. Um, lucky and you. I'm, so, I'm so lucky, except on Thanksgiving, where she would use that. She has to use that oven. Sure. So uh, there'd be like that one dish that, that tastes kind of rubbery, and it's like, oh, I think it's this tastes like a Don Post mask. I know exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I, I think I, I remember. I, I think I was trying to make like an oven out of like a heat gun and like a cardboard box uh -oh. or something. I know. I'm, Don't I, do a cardboard box. My mom was like, no, 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 no. And like, it can be done. I mean, that's the thing. It's yeah. like good spinoff here. Uh -oh. uh, <laughs> Midlife AF says, that would be a good time to say something nice about your mom. Nicholas. I know. Mom, I love you. You're, oh, is yeah. that your mom? That's my mom. <laughs> oh, hi, Nicholas's mom. Her. Yeah. I, yeah. And she's genuinely, she's the reason why I was, I'm sorry. I didn't, I don't, I hope I'm not painting in a bad light. But no, I, I love my mom so much. Yeah, I have a single mom. She is the reason I am out here. Great. I, 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 she's the reason why I've gotten any success at all. It's because she... Um, thanks mom was, thank you thank you mom <laughs> um, but she was absolutely so supportive every single thing that I was doing any classes anything like, it was uh, the reason why I had students in school because I, I at first I was kind of saving up cash and buying like for a class but for my 15th birthday I think she got me a year long subscription so okay. and that's the thing that that's just great. changed my world you know every every step of the way she's been so supportive and she is genuinely the reason and now you're, you're just working with those guys I know, dude, it was crazy. You're going, I used to watch you, and I was like, yeah, 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 whatever. Well, I was at the height of it, because I'm like, I don't want to be like a, a, a fan. That's, that's what I had with you. No, I was yeah, like, I, mean, I don't want to be like I did the out. same thing. You know, I worked, I came out here, and of course, you know, all of a sudden, there's guys that I was looking at in Fangorious, and it's like, yeah. I'm at KMB, and it's like, there's Howard Berger. Well, there's Howard Berger. You know, it's like, yeah. but I mean, all these guys just turned into friends. You know, Steve Johnson and, 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 and Howard and Greg and Bob, and all, you know, it's just like, now they're just guys I know and I worked with, and it's the same thing with you. Now I'm just a guy you worked with this one and time, and we'll work again. And now you're sitting in my, you know, shop, and yeah, you know, it's, it's Steve Wang, you know. Oh, it's unbelievable. Yeah. You know, now it's just a guy you work with. Yeah, I like know him a little more personally. It's it's. Yeah. I remember you guys talking. I think it was a with Jasper. I remember you guys mentioning if you had that sort of like wow, I kind of made. Yeah, it yeah. Moment. Tell us. And um, but I don't know. It's just like, I feel like I have those all the time, like, even with this. You know. Well, it's you're just, like, you're so new out here. Exactly. So, I mean, like, so it's just constant. Everything's a wow moment. I mean, like when I work at Mike Deek's uh, Alchemy Effects. Yeah. And I was just a few years into the industry, like two, three years, like that. And even that, that that small shop. I mean, it was honestly maybe like, two twice the size of my shop, mm -hmm. maybe a little bit bigger than that, and. I'm just still looking around. I'm going, oh, look at these cool, crazy little creatures and monsters, and I'm building this thing. And it's like, I remember driving in one day to Alchemy and just going, I'm going to make monsters. Yeah. 
It's 7 a.m. and I'm I, I get to drive to work. I know to go make a monster. It's so cool. It's you just, know, they're so rad, man. It, I love stands it. working at stands. I mean, when I started at stands, I was 15 years in. Yeah. And awesome. I just I walked in there. And I would go into that display room so often, and it's like, there's the T Rex. Exactly. The thing. Like, but I'd been doing this for, and I had already worked on so many great films up that point. I mean, I'd worked on Monkey Bone, and Cat in the Hat. Great films like that. <laughs> but you know, I'd worked on some really good films. Yeah. You know, some really big films, and it just was like, I'm still blown away. I get to do this stuff. Absolutely. So it, yeah, it's 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 amazing. Is it's, there a question in the back row? Question in the back. Oh my god, a like, question. As in the back. a new person to the industry, what is going to be? What's the project that you hope you get to work on someday? Oh, Do you geez. have something oh, like a, an IP, like some critical <laughs> moment for you that you want to achieve? I don't know. I feel like um, I don't have a special a certain IP uh, <laughs> that I, I want to work on, but there are definitely some projects where. Um, creature effects is shown in such a beautiful way, like which recently it was like Shape of Water or right. something, where you have a creature that is essentially one of the protagonists, you know, and it's, right. so, it's such a beautiful piece and it's given so much um, like admiration from, uh, not, I mean, from the industry. Not, I mean, exactly. Shape of Water won the Academy Award. I know, it's amazing. I'm not saying you like know, I, want, so, I want to do it for like awards or anything. It's just that being able to. No, 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 but I mean, the, it gets that kind of recognition where well, it's I, like, it's, yeah. it's, it's a monster movie and I mean, Thirty years ago, would Shape of Water won an Academy Award? More than likely not. Even even twenty years ago, it wouldn't have. You know, I mean, like Silence of the Lambs was kind of like a, a. That was pretty. Yeah. You know, that was the thing. It's like wow, it's essentially a horror film, but it was a horror film with fabulous actors. Mm -hmm. You know, a great set piece and all. Yeah, that it's kind a of great stuff. movie. Yeah. Yeah. And same with Shape of Water too. But I mean, I don't think I would want to do it for any, any awards or anything. I feel like sure. the. Just but the, they're not bad. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, a few, I don't know, tens of Oscars. Ask a, ask a few people that actually are able to hold an Oscar and just go, I wouldn't mind. I mean, I I, when I went to ADI, your dad showed me around. and um, uh, uh, I'm pointing over here, not Nicholas's dad, but David's dad, um, you know, showed me around ADI for the first time. And I, mm -hmm. there's the Academy Award. I went, hey, uh, do you mind? Because I'm not going to be <laughs> presumptuous and just pick that. I was like, it takes can I pick gloves, that up? And he goes, oh, absolutely, pick that up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, there's no need for gloves. Oh, it's just, just no, there's no, no gold left on that thing. No, it's just like, <laughs> like everybody six picks years it up. Of three it's, different classes, of right? Trips of elementary yeah. school kids. The greasy. Fingers. But it was just like being able to hold that, and I'll never win an Oscar. But I mean, to be able to, to because you touched one. Because that's the problem. That's the the the, <laughs> the curse. That's the curse. If you touch an Oscar, you can't win an Oscar. But I mean, it, it's 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 not why I'm here to win an award or something like that. But I mean, as a kid watching the Academy Awards, and it was like. You know, you see your, the people that you, you look up to, you know, when Rick won the first Oscar for makeup. I mean, John Chambers had originally won that award, but, you know, the first category. Okay. Oh. Um, you know, but seeing these people and the, watching the awards and all that kind of stuff and then touching that, it's just kind of like, I don't know. It's, it's, it's that tactile thing to be able to. It's cool. It's, it seems like it would be this sort of... Um, like symbol of like uh, of all this uh, hard work and yeah, it's a, it's a symbol of the hard work, but yeah. it's just like it's Hollywood too, and it's just well. Thank you so much for coming here. Thank you so, uh, dude. It's a huge just, pleasure. Oh, it's really my pleasure. Yeah, and I just yeah. I, I saw your skull at Steve Wang's. You came in there, and I was like, that's great. And oh, I looked yeah. at your thing. And I was like, I gotta invite Nicholas. Thank you so much. I was gonna so say, can I talk about a couple things? Real yeah, quick? yeah, real quick. If we, could, if we could switch this out with the kid's skull. Yeah, yeah. This is the, I, I've done two masks with Missy. It's just one of them, and then we have another skull. We might get cut off on Instagram, Mackenzie. You want to go? Okay, in this one. Here. Oh, uh, um, and then with this one too, there's actually an element of it I didn't get to show. So her wig actually comes off, um, and then you see there's she has all these sores and things in the back of her head. Um, the piece kind of the concept of this piece kind of changed. It was um, it, it's more about things that are kind of it's disgustingly wonderful. Thank you so much. But I it's, love it. It's it's more like political and sort of timely right now because it's like what's the opposite of a orange man? It's a blue woman. <laughs> um, this is but. Very yeah, so I won't, don't want to talk about any more than that. Don't want to uh, like, get advice, oh, but like, I guess I should get skull too. And then uh, the, it's actually the hin it's hinges, so it's um, it's going to have a chin cup, so when the wearer uh, wears it, they can move the they jaw. They can articulate that. exactly. Yeah. So, anyway, and, this is, and this is from that same skull. Is this the same sculpture? No, no, no. So that's a that's a, the whole different skull. That's okay. that's just for Missy. I'm so sorry, I didn't really. Each sculpt says gorgeous. Oh, yeah, man, no, you. fantastic work. Uh, Again, thank you. Nicholas, thank you oh. for uh, uh, coming by. Yeah. And then your Instagram again is... Oh, it's uh, Nicholas Winstead. It's there you sweet. go. That's my name. Find yeah. Nicholas and uh, follow him, and um, we'll be posting more about all that in days to come. So um, stay with us. We're going to take a little break, and we'll be coming back. Thanks thank so much. Thank you so much. Appreciate it, everybody. Thank you.